How the fuck am I funny? What the fuck is so funny about me? Tell me. Tell me what's funny. Set. Remix, let's Yo, go. My flow is Novocaine. My no. bars is hurricanes. Katrina. I got hella cane. Mac in the melon range. Hop out and shell exchange. I want to see these niggas die, die. Make they moms feel hella pain. Walk around like I got a broom in my pants. Now that's a fucking AK. Heavy tool in my pants. Damn, man, these cowards better stay in they lane. And if they ain't. Ridiculous songs, the Jay Z verse though. Is this one of the best Jay Z verses of all time? Because people out here kind of like, oh, this is it. This is that Jay Z verse. Like, and I think more than anything, people are putting this that song on there say? because he's rapping so long. He's just continuing. Yeah. Twitter and all that, that's what they say. Like I said, like I was like I was telling you earlier, it's not the most lyrical, but it's what he's talking about and how he's talking about it. And that's what I like. Like yeah. I, 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 to me, it's just like he is so much in his bag and in his zone. Like, this is like, I like the way he's talking. Like, that's all I can really say. Like but I ain't gonna sit there. Ass billionaire. Exactly. <laughs> but I'm not gonna sit there and be like, this is the best shit. No, I was like, this is why you great at what you do because you do it at this level. And it's like this is like, you know what it is too. I, I think it's motivation too because he sound like he's talking to us. It like y'all better get up, get up and do it too. That's I what it is. It I got did. niggas it's emotional. When you hear a nigga, see, this is what I was talking about because he's speaking from his real life experience and talking. I love it. <laughs> I love it with dudes. It's like I love it when oh, dudes be it. vulnerable <laughs> on the track. I love it, and to me, like that's like. I don't know. I felt motivated by the shit, but like I'm not gonna sit yeah. there and put all that extra fucking sauce on there. Like I thought it was a cold ass verse. You see, I but you see, I was not like going like, farther than that. I, I, think I it's see the emoji. I liked it. <laughs> but see, it's it's a deeper thought. It's a deeper thought. You, see, you gotta go back in the situation. You don't know. I had, to, I had to put my glasses on, and then I held that. Bro, I was Dominican challenge out here. Quit playing with me. No, it's motivational. <laughs> Yes. Is it speaking to the soul? Yes. Is it telling you to do the opposite of what his wife did on Break My Soul? Yes. Is it the best? Oh, yeah, they true. Because he's had others. Okay, Wait he's had others. <laughs> Quit playing with me. It's this. Hold on. Let me put it back on. It's y'all. These, these are my fume glasses. Anyway, it's y'all younger I never listened to none because my mom and my daddy wasn't bumping it, even though, you know, my mama shouldn't have been playing his music when I, you know, I was younger. But, you know, that's my mama. She's going to do what she wanted to do. Especially when we're talking about a bunch Big of people facts. coming off of YB is better. So it's like... Y'all <laughs> you... based off of... And your boy is very talented, by the way. You made young boy is very talented. I don't know that man like that, so I wouldn't know. Anyway, my ears are selected. But y'all don't know about the music he was putting out back then. Listen, I still go and play Big Pimpin'. I don't know why. Maybe it's because, you know. Oh, I know why. <laughs> Maybe it's because. It was ingrained in us. Yes. And that beat, production <laughs> Timberland, that's still 2022. <laughs> yeah. We just live in the You just automatically go to the and beat. Then you got so uh, you just... UGK, Pimp C verse come up. No, yeah, that's, and then the today. video, the video you got Gloria Velez and, and Pimpsey, um, and her like Where, first of all, she had her uh, birthday outfit, the little cowboy hat and the white leather with the fringe and everything, and then she got I'm to everything about this shit is iconic, yeah. iconic. And then she got like, yes. and then they came and got her, and it was like, you want to be in a video? She was like, yeah, you got something to wear. She was like, um, uh, my birthday outfit. Put the birthday outfit on, and then Pimp C was like, here, you can wear the coat. He ain't never let nobody wear that coat. Yeah. I don't know if these type of things are going down in 2022 videos, but... <laughs> See, that's the difference between our era and this era, is the fact that we went and calling that shit a classic when it first fucking came out. We gave that shit time to mature and ripen, and then we go back and listen to it, because it's a lot of shit that I can admit that I go back and listen to, and I be like, this shit it would not hit right now. But then there's some other stuff, I'm like, this a, is this a slap right now. Like, no. Nah. It's a lot of stuff that I'm like, it's very dated, it's very of the time, and I can admit that. 
And some stuff is frankly not even good. Like I can go back, I can tell you some it's some shit on my playlist where I was like, this song is not good at all. But like it did something for me at that time period when I listened to it, which is why our parents and every other generation before us argues that their music is the best. No, it's, it's the, the same best thing we're gonna be doing that we no. doing now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm never going to argue that my music, well, like, nope, let me not say never, because I did when See, Mumble Rap first came yeah. out, I was like, what the fuck is this? Can it go away? But listen, I, I, listen, <laughs> we will, like, people be like, oh, no, my generation had the best music. No, my generation had the best music. I'm like, I'm not arguing with y'all about who had the best music. Like, I'm DJ Khaled out here on a beat. Let's be clear on something. Every single generation, y'all talking about the same thing. It just may, sometimes it may just be like a little simple, a little shy. Sometimes it just be out there and proud with it. Sometimes you got people begging. Like I'm like, come on now, Jody C used to beg. Y'all don't beg no more. Maybe that's how Baby. the reason R and B died. They was begging. Baby, I'm begging. You on P Diddy side? You saying R and B is dead? They stopped reaching for the air. They yeah. stopped singing in the rain. What happened? So you said there's no more baby making music. It's playing. I music. just, it's joke. <laughs> <I'm asking laughs> not playing baby music. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. They fucking now. Ain't no sex. Ain't no love making. Ain't no. What are you struggling for? Is something wrong with your back? Yeah. Ain't no joining of the souls. Ain't no Kudalini like, rising. I need some Kudalini <laughs> rising, man. But it's just like, what, no, like y'all arguing about whose music is the best from which generation. It's just like y'all say the same thing over and over and over again each generation because the problems are still the same. People still begging for stuff, but now nobody's begging for anything. Nobody's I think more than anything, about, it's called evolution. People yes, evolve. It is. Music evolves all people, the time. People evolve, people's problems evolve, music evolves. Sometimes it evolves into something that's just like, let this never happen again. Um, let and a song that I will always go back to, uh, Mint Conditions, Pretty Brown Eyes. I could play that all day. I could play it until somebody gets tired of it. I'll play it till I get tired of it and then turn it off and play it again. Cause that's how good that song is. But I'm Outcast, not we turn it against them. Like, play it, repeat. But I, it's just like, um, I'm not sure. Or me, because I like all types of music. I, I just can't stick to one genre. Well, I appreciate that as far as, though, the Jay-Z verse. Yeah. Because I feel like that's not the that standout verse of all time that he has done. I feel like he has had more personal verses, too. Um, The one with him and Benny Single. Dad, where are you? Like, that like, Come on, what are we talking about? No, you don't get more personal than that. Talking about your pops, even Blueprint, the song called Blueprint, when he talking about his dad and his mama and everybody that came along as far as his upbringing. I think the reason yeah. why the people down to the Twitter think it's the most like iconic verse of all time and it's a classic, even though classics. We got to remember too, Jay Z don't drop verses all the time. So yeah, there's that, and then these are also people who probably never really listened to him before then. Is a lot of people who are just like searching and reaching for something that will touch their soul. Like that don't touch your soul. This touch, touch their soul. Ooh, music and they is soulless. Ooh, that's whew, that's a that's a topic that had uh, hit and on is like, how a lot of music is soulless nowadays. Let's be I honest. To, I legit have to go back to Meg because it's like this last album. Oh, that touched my soul because it touched a lot of things that you know. You know, I had never been, you know, had nobody uh, pull a pew pew out on me. That ain't never happened to me. But just talking about the, like, anxiety and just having people around you who you just be, like, you know, praying to your ancestors and the Lord or, you know, whatever your religion is. I don't, you know, I don't know. But you just, like, praying, like... I feel like that's what these, Kendrick was to me. Big stuff. If these, if these people aren't meant to be in my life or if somebody is here and they're not going to do right true. by me or they're not going to be here for me... Please take them out. And then she's like, oh, you know, I'm surprised about who's gone. I'm be like, yeah, I'd be surprised about who's gone too. Because I didn't have multiple friends where I just prayed a little prayer. It's not even just like, oh, show me the light. It's just like if something or someone is not good for me right now, if they are being a hindrance to my life, can you please either get me away from them or get them away from me? And then be looking around like, oh, okay. Well, uh, you know what? You know what? I get it. I understand. So it's just like 
for the Jay-Z verse, these people right now in this time that we are living in, they are searching for someone, something to touch their soul that is really going to you know, speak to them. Now, you can find that anywhere. You can find it in some art. And I mean, like, you know, somebody painted it, drew it. You can find it in music because that's art as well. You can find it in anything. Mm-hmm. And I guess, you know, his verse was anything. And he's speaking as the person he is now. That's another thing. He's speaking as the person he is now. He can't speak to the person like he was. He can't speak about the person he was in the past because he's no longer that person. And he you is making what? reference to his past mm-hmm. while making yeah. maturity points too. <laughs> like you know and it's showing, what came from what I was doing. <laughs> and then it's just like you gotta appreciate that because it's just like a lot of y'all don't feel like y'all have options out here. You have options. You just have to know where to find them. And he's telling you as a grown man who is he. I don't know how old that man is. Over I, fifty. Okay, the man is uh he he up there in age. He's speaking to the person he is now, a grown man with kids, a wife, multiple businesses. He has been, you know, uh, he's a legend in the game, and he's speaking to who he is now. And he's letting you know, this is where I came from. This is where I am now. And you can grow and change, and you can have a life. You just have to be willing to put that work in. And if you are strong in your faith, stay strong in your faith. Now, don't be trying to shove it down nobody's throat now. Because not everybody else is strong in the faith either. But it's just like. There was definitely a lot of the things he was saying too in this verse, as far as DJ Kelly verse. Exactly. exactly. It's just like, is it a classic? I mean, let it mature because, you know, people didn't like Hocus Pocus when it first came out. Not even the people who made Hocus Pocus. I think I, that's where I was looking at it too from a point of view lyrical. Mm-hmm. That's more so, not personal, lyrical. So mm-hmm. when y'all breaking down like that and making a more personal aspect from it, I'm like, yeah. This is one of the more not best verses from him because I feel like he had other personal verses and more teachable, teachable verses too besides this one. But I get what y'all saying. Especially you, the deal as far as this verse goes. Thank you. I Like I said, I wasn't trying to put extra sauce on Shout it. Shout out to the red with the no She helped the rent, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never right. been anybody as ruthless. I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like me. I'm from Nairclaw. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense